I actually have worms living in my brain. Um, not many people know about rat lung because it's pretty much a tropical disease. It originates, I guess, from Asia. And I'm assuming now that that's why they don't eat raw lettuce in Asia because of the rat lung. I knew about it when I moved here to Hawaii, but I always thought that just washing and rinsing and soaking your lettuce would be enough. But I'm learning now that it's not, and talking to other people, realizing that it, it doesn't get the little parasites off the leaves because what happens is they stick. And they're very, very tiny, um, you can barely even see them. They're so small. I've heard some are even transparent and you can't even see them at all. I, I bought this lettuce uh, called arugula from uh, the, the organic um, natural, it's called or, Island Naturals Organics. And um, I went there and I bought a, a, a bag. Of course, it was grown here on the big island, a bag of um, arugula and I brought it home. I put half of it in a bowl. I rinsed it. I put more water in. I soaked it. I drained off the water, which is probably one my mistake. What I should have done is I should have picked every leaf up, even though they're little tiny leaves, and inspected every single one of them. But, you know, I won't even eat lettuce from here now that this has happened to me. But anyway, what happened was I drained the water off. I guess the little tiny slug part of it, because they're really delicate and they, they um, tear apart really easy. So part, I guess part of it tore off. And when I was done eating my salad, I looked at the bottom and there was one little leaf with a li half a little tiny baby slug on it, stuck on, on the leaf and part of it was missing. And I'm assuming that's the part that I, I probably ate. Um, I've been doing all the research I can on it. And um, I, I'm hoping to get, get through the next couple weeks without any complications. Um, what happened was the day after, the next day I got diarrhea for two days. And ever since then I've been having um, pressure, like it feels like on my head like someone's pushing like this and it comes and goes. And it's not so bad, like it doesn't really hurt right now. Um, Every once in a while it will hurt a little, but then it, it let it eases up. It's it's not a constant pressure. It, it's pressure and then it eases and then pressure and it eases. I've been taking lots of antioxidants, vitamin C, uh, parasite um, stuff for parasites, wormwood, um, folic acid, um, you know, stuff that, that promotes uh, glutathione, which is an antioxidant your body makes. Um, garlic and just everything I can, I can, you know, think of or that I've researched that it's supposed to help. Um, I heard somebody did a intravenous, um, vitamin C, which helped her. I, I read a blog, but, um, I need, I probably, if this doesn't go away, I probably need to find a nature path to help me do that. Um. I'm hoping it, it doesn't get worse. I, I could actually die. People have died from this. They get meningitis. Um, I'll probably, I should be over it. It, it. The worms should all be gone. Should all be dead in another couple of weeks is what they say. It takes usually about one to, to three weeks is what they say, but it can take up to like four or five weeks. And some people that, that have been infected have symptoms even years later. I don't understand. I guess they maybe the worms don't die. I don't understand why people still have symptoms. Um, they say that the worms don't really mature. They do die, but other things say that some people still have symptoms even like long, long after. I guess there's just not that much research on it. Um, you know, but I, I'll tell you something, I'm never going to eat lettuce grown on this island again, and I'm never going to juice any greens grown here again, 
because again, like I said, it doesn't matter even if you soak, wash, wash again and soak and, and you know, it, because they stick, they're, they're really tiny and they stick to the leaves. You know, unless you could like scrape and scrub every single leaf, but I'm not gonna sit there and scrape and scrub every leaf. And not only that, I don't trust it. I mean, why why don't they eat raw salads in Asia? You know, they don't because of the parasite. Um, I guess as far as greens, I either have to cook them, you know, or I just have to buy the powder or buy or buy greens from not here. Um, that's what I have to do because I, I, I know that it says somewhere where um, some different research articles say that it depends on how much you ingest. So, you know, if you keep doing it, I'm sure it would get like for me, it would get a lot worse probably if I kept exposing myself to more and more parasites. Um, so I'm trying to avoid all that right now. Any of that. Um, Actually, I just ate some raspberries from Mexico, but I soaked them in, in wormwood. Um, I don't know. I don't know what to do. I probably shouldn't eat anything from Mexico either. Um, you know, it's funny how we, we think, a lot of times we think we're doing what's, what we can to make ourselves healthy, and then it turns out to be totally wrong. You know, it seems that way now, and it shouldn't be that way. People, I mean, God, this is ridiculous. Why can't we just... Why can't we just go out and pick our greens and not have to think and worry about all this crap? It's just, it's bullshit. Why don't, why can't there be like a huge eradication program where we, you know, just go out and get rid of all these fucking slugs that carry this disease? You know, what good are they anyway? I don't know what good slugs are. Um, what, what can I do? You know, I mean, I, if I grow my own lettuce, sure, I could put slug baits out. And but I don't really trust it. There's just too many. I mean, I see slugs all the time around here. There's just way too many slugs. Um, okay, so I, I don't know what else to say. I mean, if anyone can help me with any, any information about this, like I said, there's not a lot of research on it. I don't know what to do. Um, if it gets worse, I will go to the doctor. And if it gets a lot worse, of course, I'll end up in the hospital. Um, but that's what happens, I guess. Nobody told me. I just, I, I thought they were like large slugs and you just have to clean your lettuce and, you know, make sure that you got all the, if there's any slime, of course, because the slime carries the, the parasites too. But it's like you, you got to wash everything, even your fruit. Because when, like, even like oranges, like what if a slug crawled across an orange and there's a trail there and then you cut the orange and then you push in the parasite into the orange, you know, it's like that. It's because, you know, I've read things where they, people here don't even know how they got it. Like that's how careful they are. They are so careful and they still get the parasite and then they don't even know how they got it. You know, some people they say have no symptoms. Some ha people have mild symptoms. Some people end up in the hospital. I don't know what's gonna happen. I, I'm sure I didn't eat that much. I did soak my lettuce, um, but I didn't inspect every little tiny leaf of the arugula. And who knows how much more I've ingested because I used to eat lettuce like every single day, tons of it. It's crazy. I won't now, that's for sure. Um, yeah, I mean, the, like I said, I had diarrhea and now I have these pressure on my head. It feels like someone's pushing on my head. Sometimes it just, it just happens on one side and sometimes it's both. Sometimes it's, it's further back. I get weird pains, and then, but then it goes away. And then I also get weird pains throughout my body, but then they go away. So I'm just hoping it just they go away and they die um, and don't cause me any in blood infections or brain infections. I don't know what else to say. Um, that's just what I'm going through right now.
don't don't ever if you ever go to any tropical islands or anywhere tropical or Asia or anywhere don't eat lettuce don't eat any greens that are raw that's all I can tell you